Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Medieval for PlayStation 1. We made it through the Haunted Ruins in the last video, and in the next video, we're going to go to the Ghost Ship. This game isn't getting any easier. Well, at least we know how Sir Daniel Fortescue got there, but how how is he going to get out? Captain, I thought you want to know we have a stowaway. I've told the men to scour the decks for me. Good! I want that scurvy dog dangling from yon yard arm by his bowels! Is that really necessary? Couldn't we just give him a good tongue lashing and drop him off at the next port? Look! There's not a man jack on this ship who wouldn't kill haul his own grandmother for the silver in her hair! There'll be no tongue lashing! Bring the all right. Most of the crew seem to be under the control of a few officers. Without them, they'd be like headless chickens. Also, to our left is a door that requires a rune. We need to go to this room first. Along the way, we'll be finding these skeleton warriors. These pirates. More, I should say. And these guys will not only put up a good fight, but they do come back. However, if we beat this guy up, who happens to be a commanding officer, we can get rid of a good amount of the enemies that are here. Now, the ones with the yellow shirts and the bandanas will disappear, but the ones like the ones we fought at the beginning here, they do come back. The ones in the black coats. So therefore, going through this area, taking as little damage as possible, keeping your he health high, I don't want to do that. Keeping your health high is essential. Also, when you beat up a commanding officer, you'll get quite a bit of energy for the chalice. Now these guys in the black and red jackets, they do come back. They do respawn in a way. So you have to be pretty careful. Now here, we have, we had, man, that's where we had to get the rune. I keep thinking you have to drop down from there, but no. You have to go this way. Be sure to go into the rune door at the bidding first to get the star rune. Otherwise, getting back is going to be kind of tough. And while I could essentially make my way across these doors that open and close multiple times, I'm not really going to do that. Instead, I'm just going to drop over here, get some gold, and just come up these stairs and through this door. There should be no reason for us to go there ever again. Also, you want to watch out for rolling barrels. Those things do hurt you. Now, that gold hand right there is where we need to put the second rune that we just found near the beginning of the level. 
I'm going to refill some health here. Again, you want to keep your health high. Open this door up. And then you want to drop down here. Why don't you beat this guy up, of course. I probably shouldn't do it like that. I should wait until after I drop down to charge everything up. Make sure to focus solely on the commanding officer who is the guy in the blue. By taking him down, you'll take down quite a few of the enemies. And you only really have the guys in the black and red to deal with. Once you beat up the commanding officer here, you should have 50% on the chalice at this point. You just want to run past the cannons here without getting hit by the cannonballs. And get the red rune, which we will place here. Now you want to be careful because you don't want to fall down here. You can kind of see Dan's shadow here as you leap from net to net. And this is where you want to land next. From here, we're going to do a little bit of platforming. You want to be careful. I can't believe that there's some stuff that got in the way there, but I managed to stand, be there safely, which is a good thing. You want to drop down here. Now to the left is where we want to go for the boss. There is a fountain over there for energy, and there's a cage, which we can go up for another commanding officer, but we do want to go down there first, what's below this set of rotating platforms, because if we do that, we can get ourselves some energy vials that we may need. Of course, we'll have to fight some of these pirates as we do so. And we'll eventually need to go into this door. Now in here is another commanding officer. This is why you want to go down in the first place. Because this is how you're going to get some energy for the chalice that is very easy to miss. And from here, you want to just keep jumping north. There is a window to the west right here that you can leap into. And from here, you just want to make sure that you don't get hit by any cannonballs. Thankfully, they don't do that much damage. But there are little holes that you can hide in in case you need to hide anywhere. Ow. Did not expect to end up right there, but that's all right. Am I going up here? We go over here. We have to deal with you again, and we have to deal with the nets a second time. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, thankfully. And if you would jump towards the nets, that would be a good thing. I find it amazing that this is the easiest part of the ship that I can deal with, the jumping on the nets part. Even though I can barely see Dan, Dan's shadow, you can see it, and it is easy to guide him to where you want to guide him. Now we need to leap over here again, and wow, that was that was something. Don't even bother going to the left. That just takes you backwards. That's like, supposed to be an alternate path to here. And from here, whoa. We want to make our way to the cage. We could go to the stairs to the left, but I don't want to do that just yet. Now, if we were to lead to the left, we could get an energy vial and we can get the chalice, but we don't have the chalice ready yet. So what we want to do is just jump to the right here, beat up a few of these pirates, obviously. Those, those hits were worth taking so I can get myself a little bit of a head start on this commanding officer. And boom. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab that energy vial and then drop over here. Using the power trick against these guys when you can really helps. It will help you take care of the lackeys if you need to. And you can also get a head start on the commanding officers. And by beating these, this commanding officer up, you can open this door. The ghost ship captain is as tough as old sea boots. You will need something a little more powerful than the weapons in your inventory to knock him overboard. I'll explain how to face him soon enough, but first, we need to go back here and wait for the platform. 
if I can get there. That was terrible. Where does that take me back to? Okay, good enough. I know that won't get me completely up the full, but it's still going to be something. And now, we need to use the spinning platforms one more time for two things. One, to replace some of the energy, some of which I carefully lost, or carelessly lost. I'm carelessly and carefully losing all this energy at the same time. I'm kind of being aggressive with the pirates, as you can see. It doesn't exactly work the best way. Also, I've never blocked in this game. That's just kind of weird, too. And two, we need to go back to the cage. I want to make sure I'm on the edge of the cage here, so that way when I jump to the left, I don't fall into the pit and lose another life bottle. We can now get the chalice because we found or gotten 100% of the energy from the skeletons. By the way, just jump up, and you'll get the cage back up again. No big deal. All right. I'm going to go ahead and run because... Uh, I don't want to go over here. I don't want you guys following me here either. Okay. You're going to leave me alone. All right. You want to get the ch club in here in case you don't have one. And then you want to press square to light up the club at the torch. You want to move between these two can cannons that shoot the cannonballs while the club is lit up. And you want to get as many hits in on the pirate captain as possible. Eventually, these guys will pop back up. They will pop out. They will pull themselves together. And you will have to fight them. Switch to the magic sword. Beat them all up. Then, go back to lighting the club up and hitting this guy as much as you possibly can. I am speaking in a very low voice today. Don't know why. Now, if I could get some hits on this guy, that would be great. Yeah, these guys are going to pull themselves back together again like Humpty Dumpty. Actually, Humpty Dumpty didn't actually pull himself together. It was all the king's horses and all the king's men who did it. So, yeah, if, if I'm starting to remind people of the Landau 3000 right now, which I probably usually do, in case any of you have probably seen them. To some extent, I apologize. Come on, light it up again. Oh, that's not good. They're back. They are back. All right. As long as you keep square held down, as you touch the backs of these cannons with a lit up club, you should be able to take this guy down easily. And there we go! We have the Chalice of Souls. We have nothing else to do but to walk up to the very front of the ship. Go up to the steering wheel. I know, I know there's probably a... Uh, a term for that wheel, but I can't remember what it is for me offhand right this second. And from here, we are now at the Hall of Heroes. You don't say anything different, do you? You do not. Okay. Let's go ahead and go up the stairs and see what there is to See, is it you? It is you. You are back here for the skill. I think this is because of my shield, yeah? But I have something else I can give to you. Something you may find very interesting. Well, let's see what it is. A lot of gold. Well, it's better than nothing, I suppose. 
So let's go ahead and just drop down from here. And then just go back to the teleportation circle on the floor there and just leave. I'm surprised I did not have trouble with this level when I was recording it. That is something. But that castle looks very foreboding. Very, very foreboding. And as I save my game to my memory card, I wonder what this castle is. It's got to be something important. Maybe this is where we will meet Zarok. But we won't know for sure until the next video. Join me next time when we go to that castle and get ever so closer to Zarok. Something tells me that our adventure is about to come to an end. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!